I'm gonna make a video on my phone because my my laptop is not connected very well. Uh, I wanted to make this video about the differences between um, the active duty component and the reserves component. Um, there's also the National Guard, but I don't know that much about the National Guard, so I don't want to go into that. Okay, so I'm trying to find. Okay, yay! Um, if you're going on active duty, active duty, you're basically going to sign your contract. Usually, the active duty contract is a four year contract. Um, I am talking about what I know by experience, not by any regulations or anything. Things may change. So I'm just, I just want to give you guys an idea of what I know, of what I see. So the active duty contract, a four-year contract in which once you sign your contract and you go to basic military training, according to your ASVAB score, that's uh, what's going to dictate what job you're going to get. You're not going to know your job until basically the last week of basic military training, and then you're going to know where are you going for your technical school. So, active duty, basically, you are going to not know anything about anything unless, you know, it's different. Like, most of the people that I saw in basic, they didn't know what their job was gonna be, they didn't know where they were going after, they were just there. Once we were in our sev seventh week of training, which now I think it's less, I think it's seven weeks now. I went when it was eight. But so about your last week or so, you're going to find out what's your job. So once you go to a technical school as active duty, you're going to, once you finish tech school, about a week before or some a couple of days before you finish tech school, you're going to find out where you're going to be your, your PCS, your, your permanent station. Um, once you find out your permanent station, usually they have some sort of preparations. If you're going overseas, you're going to have vaccines, you're going to have stuff like that. So sometimes you get a holdover for a little bit until everything gets sorted out and then you go. Then you're going to do that job for your next, the remainder of your enlistment. And then once your enlistment is over, you can choose to uh, re-enlist or you can choose to leave. But if you really like your job, you can re-enlist and stay. If you don't like your job, you can release and try to cross over to another job. There are so many options. Um, the downfall, I think, for the active duty is that you don't have the time to study because you're going to be serving for four years. So if you are a person that you are looking into going to school and finishing your bachelor's and going to college and all that stuff, I wouldn't tell you to go to active duty. But if you really want to have a military career and climb that ladder and just military is all you want to do, Go for active duty because you're going to see the world. You're going to have like a lot to learn. And it's going to be a job that you're going to, you know, a skill that you're going to acquire and have a lot of experience in it. So active duty is definitely a good choice for people that wants to make a military career or to have like, you know, technical training on something that, that may serve them in the future. Now, reserves is completely different. Uh, reserves, you are going to know your job, you're going to know where you're going, you're going to know when it's over, and you're going to have your permanent station is going to be by your house. Because once you finish your training, you only require to go to the base one week out of the month, and then two weeks out of the year, that the two weeks out of the year, they call it an annual tour. So the one week out of the month, you're just going to go over there and you're going to do the job that you learned. So you're going to go to basic military training, like everybody that goes to the military goes to basic military training. Once you finish, you're going to go to tech school. Once you finish that, you go back to your station by your home and then you do your in processing and then you do all that stuff. Uh, for the reserves, you also have something that's called seasonal training. When you get out of your, your technical school, some professions give you the choice to have some time to practice the job that you just learned. And I would totally advise you to do seasonal training if you have seasonal training on your, um, on your job, um, on the job that you got. Some jobs don't require seasonal training, some jobs do. So it's always good to do everything that you are offered because the more experience, the better. Um, if you're going reserves, you're going to have time to study. You're going to get your tuition assistance right away as soon as you finish your training. Uh, 
uh, if you're on active duty, you won't until you finish your enlistment contract. So just keep that in mind. But overall, both of them have the same physical training requirements. So don't think that just because you're reserves, you have to work less. Not really, no. You actually have to work harder sometimes because you have to keep yourself in shape. You can't fail PT test um, because it's not good for you. It's not good for your career in any component. At reserves, at active, never fail. And actually, you have the same requirements as active duty. There is no reserves requirements and active duty requirements. No, both require both components have the same required requirements for physical training. The only bracket changes with age, but that's it. So if you are 18 year old in reserves and if you are 18 year old on active duty, both of you have to do the same amount of push ups, the same amount of sit ups, and the same amount of running. So don't go thinking that your reserves is easier because it's not. Uh, you may think of yourself or the active duty may think of us as weekend warriors, but you can use the reserves components to your advantage, like I do. I try to do everything that I can to use as much time as possible to study everything that I do in the military and to work out as much as I can because I have the time and then to achieve better things and to be better, you know? The, reser the reserves have that time. Just don't slack. Just because you're reserves doesn't mean that you have to be a slacker. Because you're reserves, it means that you have to be better. You have to. You have more time. You know. Um, so the guard, um, they are pretty much like the reserves. There might be changes here and there, but I don't really know that much, so I'm not gonna go into it. Um, but the reserves is really good for you if you just want to study and get, you know, to the higher ranks. If you want to get into commissioning and you don't have a bachelor's degree yet, going to the reserves is the best choice. Um, I wouldn't tell you to go to reserves if you want something full time, because the reserves is not a full time job. It's the one weekend out of the month. Um, the two weekends, the two weeks out of the year, that's the annual tour. Uh, you do have the chance to travel. If your unit has an assignment for an annual tour in Germany, for instance, you, you may be able to go. So you still get to travel a little bit, but the annual tour is the most chance you're going to get to do anything. The one weekend out of the month, it's just in your unit and it's your stuff that you're going to do. You have to level up your job to be able to be deployable. So there are like little things that you have to learn, but that you learn over time. If you guys have any questions about the components, let me know if you want to know anything about the military at all that you feel like I should make a video about. Just let me know and I'll make a video. And um, any questions, just post it on the comments. Uh, try to subscribe if you can because I'm trying to make as many videos as I can with the time that I have. I don't have that much time because I've been keeping in shape, I've been studying a lot. Um, by the way, I just did my test for my five level for my job six months earlier as i said because your reserves you gotta try to achieve greatness earlier and with more work so i did that and i did my test for my leveling for my job six months earlier so and i passed so i'm very happy um so i'm working on those things and going to school and whatnot but i'm gonna try to make videos about basic and all of that kind of stuff let me know if you guys have any questions about basic military training, and I'll make videos about it. Um, and that's it. Subscribe. Bye.